picture with you. Bola ili maribo? Ya bola. Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are at Chandi Sambi Sari, which is the temple of Sambi Sari here in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. If you're new to the channel, we make new videos for you every day. We try to give you something positive, something uplifting, something that is going to help you keep smiling. We've got Julie, Hi. Seth, Hi. and Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> That's right. Check out Sarah's shirt. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. That, guys, is what we want to help you do is to keep smiling. And so we're here to check out this temple. Joke Jakarta actually has a lot of little temples. Now, it's really known for a couple big ones, right? Like Brobdur and Prambanan. But there's a lot of little ones like this. Yeah, look at that little guy. It's so cute. The location of Sambisari is just north of the airport here in Jogjakarta and the cost for foreigners is 10,000 rupees. The cost for locals is 5,000 rupees or if you have a kitas, which our family now has, is only 5,000 as well. This is actually a 9th century Hindu temple and it was discovered by a farmer in 1966. They say that he was plowing his field, his hoe hit one of the carved rocks and I guess he dug it up and then eventually it was um, excavated and reconstructed. I think in 1986 they completed that. And so it was buried under about um, five meters of Merapi volcanic ash. So guys, we're coming in now. All right, so we made it in the first area. We're like in the main courtyard right now. And you can see some of it right here is partially reconstructed and then here is the largest part of the temple down here let's go look at it see some of the cool carvings and architecture <laughs> hello. hello how are you I'm fine. great Dari mana? Dari oh daddy joke can i take a picture with you bola <laughs> lima ribu ya bola Okay, so we're taking a picture with uh, Thank you. some people here. Yes. What's your name? My name is Madelia. All right, guys, before we head up the steps, we've got to look at these guys here. These cool carvings. Yeah, and this guy holding it all up. He's bearing it all in a squatting position. So we got the cool dragon head here, his mouth's open. Got another little guy inside of his mouth. Cruise on up some more. We've got some more, looks like maybe dragon head, other carvings, we go in now. Now we're actually at the highest part you can go. And so you can walk around this main part right here, come around, you can see there must have been something else here, right? But they're all missing now. And you can also see the difference in the stone. Like you can tell like this is like new that they've had to put in here, um, trying to piece it back together, so it's cool. I think from what I remember at other temples, Right, that they are marked yeah. so that you know that these are new stones. Yeah, right, and they're all they're all marked with holes. Like they copied the pattern. Yeah. Like this, like this is the old, so they copied that here. But these ones are the new ones. Yeah. So you can easily tell. Yeah, it's not trying to replicate them. <laughs> this is one of my favorite mm. things here. What's that? Look the smell there. Oh yeah! Wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's probably my huh. favorite thing about this temple. Looks kind of like a Chester cat, cat smile, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like a big grin. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We've got the elephant guy. Is that geisha? I think that's new rock. Another awesome uh, carving on top. It's totally like the Chester cat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cruise around over here to the other side and see who we've got here. Ah, we've got the multi-armed lady with the same carving above her. On this side right here, we've got the same carving up here. And I really can't see anything in there, but let's cruise in. Ooh, it echoes in here. Oh, wow. Huh. We've got, we've got this thing here, but what's it for? That's wood. Uh-uh, that's rock then. Really? Yep. So there must have been, oh, look at that. Offering. Huh, yeah, look at that. Because here's, a, here's like a, a trough, it comes around here, and then this part right here can flow out and come down off of here. Yeah. 
So maybe there was something here, right, that then um, if there was liquid, some type of liquid might run down and pour out over there. Yeah. Interesting. Pretty cool, Joes. Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us here. You're welcome. Let's go check out the rest. Okay. I just saw this right here. Check out this carving. Yeah, that's holding up this part right here where the liquid would run down. All right. Going down, check out some other parts here. So that's the main temple there, guys. And uh, over here, we've got some partially reconstructed ones, like I said earlier. You've got these three right here. This one, the three in the front, being the least reconstructed. But look right here, sir. Here's another one of these with a little trough to run out right here. Proof that we're close to the airport. Here's another spot that they haven't reconstructed. Got another like pillar thing over there, another one right there, another one here and one over there. So originally there must have been a lot more to it than what we see here today, but it's still pretty cool and impressive. Yeah. You want to go up here? Sure. Let's look up there. See what's up there? See what's up there? So you guys can see like where we are down here is pretty pretty low to the regular ground level here. Yeah, they said it's five meters. Five yeah, meters. Five meters below the like regular land level. That's a, They said that was how much it was covered with ash, with volcanic ash. Huh. Like that's a lot of ash. Yeah. <laughs> You've got some hedge carvings over here with the name of the place on the side there. Seth is hiding down here. <laughs> Hi Seth. All right, climbing up the side here. You see the temple there behind me, hopefully. Wah. Whew. Made it. Look at these guys. And there you've got the temple from the other side. All right, this is for the thumbnail, guys. Good. Oh, yeah, okay, we got one. <laughs> All right, so we're up on top here now. And um, you can see it looks like maybe part of the original wall here. Or they excavated part of the original wall right down there. Hey, take a look at the pink. Yeah, I think those are snail yeah. eggs, if yeah. you can see those. Yeah, those are snail eggs growing on the you side You probably can't there. see them. Let me zoom in on them. There you go. Maybe you can see those little pink things on there now. Just over the fence here. We got some sheep down there. And a shepherd. All right, guys. Well, that is Chandi Sambisari here outside of Jogjakarta. It's a pretty cool little temple to come and check out. One of the really nice things about it is that it's quiet, it's calm, it's peaceful, right? You don't have a lot of truck traffic, motorcycle traffic, and best of all, you don't have a lot of people trying to sell you things like souvenirs and food and drinks. Yeah. You can just come here and check it out. And so if you're interested in looking at this place while you're here in Jogjakarta, the link is down in the description below to the location. Until next time, guys, we hope you have a really great day. Thank 